Along the vast perimeter of the Sahara Desert is a chain of ancient cities established by the Muslim conquerors more than a thousand years ago. The only law for centuries was that of the sword. But now, to protect the weak and to punish those who would break the law, there is a force unlike any other. And that force is the French Foreign Legion. Mister, you have need of the best leathers in Morocco? Maybe. You see, I saved a thousand francs, and I don't know what to spend it on. Perhaps a wallet. It's a regular man's size. Really? It's all hand tool, of course. Gee, it sure is nice. How much? Two thousand francs, usually. But a special friend, a special price. One thousand francs. But if I have a thousand francs, a wallet costs a thousand francs, I won't have any francs to put in it. <laughs> From out of the mouths of babes come words of wisdom. Why, this wallet isn't worth a franc over 800. But I will lose money. 800, yes or no? Yes, 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 yes. 800 francs. A very special prize. Gee, thanks. And thanks to you, sir. By the way, my name's Cuffy. And I'm George Langton. Mind you keep that wallet full now. <laughs> Goodbye, Cuffy. Goodbye, Mr. Langton, and thanks again. That was awful nice of him, saving me 200 francs, wasn't it? Help! 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 Carl was waiting. What is it? It's a ransom note. The man was kidnapped. The kidnapping of George Langton is of prime importance to us, Captain Gallant. If only because of the central figure in the case. You know George Lankin, sir? I am referring to the missing man's uncle, Commodore Mendes T. Langton, the one from whom the kidnappers are demanding the ransom. Commodore Langton? Wasn't he a famous yacht racer, Colonel? Yes, an eccentric English millionaire with vast holdings in North Africa. Headquarters were on the phone. Clear the gangway! the gangway! Commodore Mendes T. Langdon requesting permission to come aboard, sir. I presume permission is being granted? Of course. How do you do, Commodore? I am Colonel Lang. I suggest that we dispense with these sea lawyer formalities and get directly to cases. Uh, what are the terms of the ransom note? Commodore Langdon, at 6 o'clock tonight, one man, alone, not followed, must bring 10,000 English pounds to the old Ferraro mill, or George Langdon will be killed. He isn't worth it. My nephew isn't worth 10 pounds, let alone 10,000 pounds. He's just a fancy talking landlubber, a dilettante who's never done an honest day's or a dishonest day's work in his life. But what was he doing here in North Africa? His business connections might be a lead to his kidnapping. Poppycock, he has no business connections. At the moment, he claims to be an archaeologist, but that's just an excuse to get over here to see some girl, some grasping little blonde who thinks he's got money. Then you won't pay the ransom, sir? I didn't say that. I'll pay it if I have to. Otherwise, I'll never know another moment's peace ashore. My wife is fond of them. Heavens knows why. 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds. A greater waste of money than taxes. Perhaps we'll be able to return it to you, sir. I sincerely hope so. And the sooner the better. Good day, gentlemen. Yes? Oh, where? Fine. Well, it's worth a try. Thank you. Goodbye. That was the leather merchant. He thought he saw a kidnapper near the square. 
You'd better check the area. Yes, sir. And I'll also see if I can't find a grasping little blonde who thinks he has money. Mm, that might be more difficult. Well, I'm not so sure, Colonel. I'll talk to the men at the barracks. They don't let many blondes get by. for the kidnapper. Have you seen him? You saw this man, you're sure? I'm certain. I was one of those in the souk this morning when he attacked the Englishman. But you didn't say anything? Tell anyone you'd seen him? The wheels of justice turn. It's not for me to speed them. A debatable point. Where'd you see him? The street of the ancient birds, number 12. He entered there. Uh, perhaps he has left again. Perhaps not. Number 12. Thank you. Sir, I just found out who did it. What? Who was it? Captain, I'm afraid I've been a fool. Never mind that. Time counts. Who did it? The kidnapper, sir. Where is it? to tell Gallant. He knew. How much did he know? Everything. He knew that I worked for you. Did he tell Gallant? No, I should do that. Good. Then Gallant doesn't know I kidnapped myself. Jeep number four, patrolling north section of town. All roads blocked. Ambulance on its way to pick up wounded legionnaire. No report as yet on wanted man. Jeep number two will continue search until further instructions are received. Over and out. Gallant. Yes, Fuzzy? I think I found that girl you're looking for, Captain. Who is she? Her name's Charlene something. Uh, she's French and she's fire. How do you know that? I know a guy that got burned, Corporal Benish. Benish went with this girl? Yes, sir. That is for a while until he went broke and then she threw him over. For an Englishman named George Lankin, right? Right. 
Where can I find this Charlene Fuzzy? Uh, she's got a small type palace on the other side of town. Uh, number nine, Street of the Pipers. Nine, Street of the Pipers. Thanks, Fuzz. You've been a big help. Yes, sir. I have. My name's Gallant. You're Charlene? Mademoiselle Terrence, yes. I'm sorry. May I come in? Why? George Langton. Come in. Leave it open. I'm halfway. Excuse me if I go on. What can I do for you? Well, I don't know for sure. But perhaps if we talk about George Langton, the friends you two knew, where you went, I might get a lead of some kind. All right, let's talk. Do you mind if I sit down? If you like. How long have you known George Langton? Months or so. And he's a good friend of yours? Yes. Yet you sit around polishing your nails while he's being held for ransom, eh? I was in London during the war, Captain Gallant. When we were being bombed, I used to sit around and polish my nails. One day, there was a direct hit next to us. Our house fell in. I had this nail to go. I finished it. Next question. Did Langton ever mention any enemies? He said his uncle disliked him. That's an understatement. He won't pay the ransom? Let's say he won't like paying it, but he'll pay. That is, unless we nab the kidnappers before six o'clock. There's nothing else you can tell me, mademoiselle? I'm afraid not. Well, thank you very much for your cooperation. Goodbye. Goodbye, Captain. Oh, by the way, Corporal Benish was shot in the chest a half an hour ago. Captain, wait, please. Why? For more stories about nail polish? No, the truth. The reason why I left Corporal Benish for Langton. And that was? Money. Langton kidnapped himself for the ransom. What? Who thought up this little fundraising plan? Langton. He was proud of it. And you? Ashamed. There are a lot more questions than answers, Charlene. They'll have to wait. Right now, I've got a lineup. Get back, both of you. You, take the gun. And throw it over there. Go on. Now, open that closet door. You, get in. Close the door. And lock it. Bring me the key. Informer, you would both be shot dead if I weren't afraid of the noise. I've done enough running for one day. Now, you can be thinking about us getting the money and how you cannot do anything about it. Uncle Mike, it's me, Coffee. Coffee, listen. There's a girl here, knocked out or something. Never mind, Coffee. I'm in here, the closet. It's locked. Should I get help or something? No, no, there isn't time for that, Cuff. Now listen carefully. Find my gun. It's in the corner of the room someplace near the window. Get it. I want you to shoot the lock off. With you in there? Get it, Cuffy. Hurry. It's important. There are only minutes left. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Guffy, I'm going to crouch low. Shoot at the lock, angling the gun up slightly. But I might not do it right, Uncle Mike. Listen, Guffy, you're on the pistol range, the same as we were a week ago last Saturday. Yeah. Do as I say, Guff. Now, repeat my commands. Ready? Ready. Aim. Aim. Fire! Oh, my! Ah, bullseye, Cuffy. I'll get you a medal later, huh? Grab her legs. Now, listen, get help. But tell them to keep an eye on her after they patch her up, okay? Yes, sir. Peel as to your instructions? Yes, sir. Um, do you go directly to the old Ferrero mill, dismount, and wait within until contacted by the kidnappers? If you ride fast, you should get there exactly on time. Yes, sir. Oh, excuse me, sir. Anybody here? You have the money with you? Yes. All right, put it on top of that barrel by the post. And leave the way you came in. Mount and ride off. Until you're out of here. It's all right, Bruce. You can come out now. He's gone. Found. A lot of money, eh, Baru? A ransom, you might say. Gallant. Now pick that up and put it back with the rest.
for excellence in the use of the service pistol. The Marksmanship Medal is hereby awarded Mascot Cuffy by order of the commanding officer. Honest, Colonel? A medal for me? Honest, Cuffy. For you. Wow. Congratulations, Cuffy. Thank you, sir.